If the Duke continue these favours towards you, Cesario, you are like to be much advanced. He hath known you but three days, and already you are no stranger. You either fear his humour or my negligence, that you call in question the continuance of his love. Is he inconstant, sir, in his favours? No. Believe me. We fast forwarded now to Duke Orsino's palace, where Viola is working as Orsino's courtier. It's a bit like a personal assistant. She's disguised herself as a young boy and given herself a new boy's name, Cesario. Valentine, one of Orsino's servants, says he can't believe how well Orsino and Cesario are getting on, even though they've only known each other three days. Therefore, good youth, address thy gate unto her. Be not denied access. Stand at a door and tell them there thy fixed foot shall grow till thou have audience. Sure, my noble lord, if she be so abandoned to her sorrow as it is spoke, she never will admit me. Be clamorous and leap all civil bounds rather than make unprofited return. Say I do speak with her, my lord. What then? What then unfolds the passion of my love? Surprise her with discourse of my dear fate. It shall become thee well to act my woes. She will attend it better in thy youth than in a nuncio's and more grave aspect. I think not so, my lord. Dear lad, believe it. For they shall yet belie thy happy years that say thou art a man. Diana's lip is not more smooth and rubious. Thy small pipe is as a maiden's organ, shrill and sound, and all is of a woman's part. Orsino takes Cesario to one side and asks him to deliver a love message to Olivia's house. He tells Cesario to try as hard as he can to win Olivia over and is confident he'll be able to do it because he looks so young and feminine. Of course, that's because he is feminine. He's a girl. Prosper well in this, and thou shalt live as freely as thy lord to call his fortunes thine. I'll do my best to woo your lady. Yet a bar full strife. Whoe'er I woo, myself would be his wife. At the end of this scene, Viola suddenly announces that she's in love with Orsino. The problem is that not only is she working for Orsino as his servant, but she's also disguised as a boy. Cesario. So she's kind of stuck in a tricky situation, in love with Orsino, but not able to tell him. Very frustrating. 